How's it going guys? Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to make a very entertaining video about the most common questions I get when daily driving the Mach-E. And just to start off, number one, hands down, has to be, what is it? They're like, what, what is that? People get confused when they see this car because they're like, there's no way that's a Mustang, but it's electric and it's an SUV. So it's just, people can't wrap their head around the fact that this is an electric four-door SUV Mustang. So they're like, oh, when did Tesla start making good-looking cars? No, just kidding. That's subjective. But um, no, yeah, really, people are very confused when they see this car. A lot of people, if you're not into cars or just don't keep up with it, they don't know what this is. So um, it's pretty interesting to see their reactions when I tell them, oh, this is a Mustang. Um, and it's called the Mach-E. It's electric. And then I, you know, go into my spiel. And so I've had all sorts of reactions, people asking questions, is that a Porsche? Um, people really like the color actually. So this is the space white on the uh, Mustang Mach-E and people love it. I personally, this is one of my favorite colors. It's a very unique color. Um, it's kind of like a bluish grayish in the daytime, uh, but it's also kind of going towards white. Um, I don't know, it's a really cool color. I really like it. Um, I do have another Mach-E ordered, which is a completely different color combination. So stay tuned if you want to see that one. That one is going to be incredible. Um, but the Space White, a lot of people really comment on the color because it's a very unique color. You don't see this color very often. Another question that gets asked super often when I'm daily driving the Mach-E has to be, where do you charge it or how do you charge it? So, you know, people, if you don't have a Tesla or an electric car, um, people just can't seem to wrap their head around the fact that you can charge your car at home like a lot of people just don't grasp the concept of electric cars yet which is fine i mean they're a pretty new technology and i mean even before i got the mach e i was like how the heck do you charge this thing so it's understandable but it's super easy i mean i literally get home plug it in and then when i leave in the morning to work unplug it and never have to go to any gas station, never have to fill up anything. It is amazing. But yeah, people ask that question a lot because, I mean, the concept of just charging and then, you know, with the supercharger network with Tesla and all that stuff gets a little bit more complicated. So, you know, like, you know, I, I try to explain to them if I'm on road trips, I have to find charging stations. But this is primarily a commuter car. We have another car for road trips, the F-150 fantastic fantastic road trip car so this one is mostly daily driver duties and commuting duties um to save on that gas but um f-150 fantastic com uh road trip car the maki -E, not such a fantastic road trip car but excellent commuter so yeah you know then i have to explain to people you know this is uh, mostly a, a good commuter car um but for road trips they do have charging stations where you can charge along the way etc etc Another super common question I get with the Mach-E is, what is the range? Well, I mean, the range is, you can look it up online, but people, you know, if they see it in person, they ask, you know, how far can it go or whatever. So I tell them, you know, 230 miles. And I mean, yeah, it's not that impressive. It's not a lot, uh, but it gets the job done, especially for commuting. It is absolutely perfection. Another one of the most common questions I get, and obviously this is subjective, but people ask, how do you like it? I mean, this car has a lot of hype around it, especially with more EVs coming out and stuff like that. But I mean, everyone's curious to see, you know, you own this car, how do you like it? And so I explained to them, it is hands down one of my favorite cars ever. It is amazing. I am so lucky to own this car, but it is absolutely amazing. So that is one of the most common questions is how do you like the car? So, you know, it's a really good uh, icebreaker or, you know, talking point because I could talk about this car forever. It's awesome. Another common question. Yeah, I mean, not so as much as like, how do you charge it and all that stuff. But another question that I get is, oh, how fast is it? Is it like super fast? Um, you know, because people know with the electric cars, instant torque, all that stuff, you know, they are curious to see if it's as fast as the Teslas. You know, this isn't a, uh, a Tesla P100 Plaid or whatever they call them um with the you know steering yoke but it, it is fast i mean the instant torque it's amazing and it's it's quick enough for daily driving duties it is absolute perfection um but yeah it is pretty fast but yeah a lot of people 
are like expecting it to be like Tesla P100D type fast. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, it's it's fast. Instant torque will push you back in your seat. Um, I'm a car enthusiast and I think it's for daily driving type of car. It is more than fast enough. It is the instant torque is it pushes you back in your seat. So it's pretty awesome. But people always seem to have that question. And of course, it gets compared to the benchmark Tesla. Now, this question I haven't had quite as often, but I do still get it sometimes is does it have the self-driving like the Tesla? And obviously it's not the exact same, but it does have hands-free cruise control. Um, and then, you know, I can get into details about that, but make sure to check out my video on the uh, hands-free cruise control on the uh, Mustang Mach-E if you want to look at more details on that. But it is awesome, especially for road trips or long commutes. You arrive at your destination a lot less fatigued when you use this uh, technology. So it's absolutely amazing. I love it. We got the uh, premium trim level on the Mach-E because of the fact that we wanted to have that hands-free cruise control, blue cruise, whatever you want to call it. So there you guys have it. Those are some of the most common questions that I've gotten when daily driving the Mustang Mach-E. Um, I've get, gotten all sorts of reactions. I mean, pretty much 99% of them have been positive. I haven't really had any negative reactions. I've had some like neutral reactions, but most reactions of people that are, you know, coming up to ask questions about it, they're super excited and, you know, they you can tell they're really interested about the car. So I've had pretty much nothing but good reactions uh, on people asking questions and just starting conversations. It's funny because it's really a conversation starter when you go to charge, like when we go on road trips and we go to charge the car. Um, you know, there's usually another Mach E there at a charging station. And it's pretty funny because, I mean, instantly it's like, hey, you have a Mach E, I have a Mach E. Let's talk about our Mach E's. So it's a good conversation starter when you're uh, waiting to charge up the car, when going on a road trip, that kind of thing. Um, again, I've had people be like, oh, is that a Porsche? Or it looks like a Porsche. I've had people say, um, you know, I've had people stop me literally in, in parking lots, like chase me down and be like, hey, what, is that a Mustang? Like, what what is that? Like, can, you know, give us more info about it and start asking all of the questions I just mentioned and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool to see people getting excited about these cars. Um, you don't see a lot of them. So I think that's still part of the appeal. It's on like the Teslas that you see one, like, you know, you see like 30 on your commute to work. Um, but yeah, people still get excited when they see it and it's pretty awesome. I absolutely love the car. And um, yeah, so those are the most common questions I've gotten when daily driving the Mustang Mach-E. If you have any questions or if you have a Mach-E and you've had similar questions or other questions that people ask you, let me know in the comments below. It's pretty cool. I still get super excited every time I get into this car. So um, as of right now, I do have another Mach-E on order. Um, it's going to be super cool, the color combination and all that stuff. So make sure to stay tuned. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Mach-E content. Thanks for watching.